and welcome back to my channel. So today I am testing out a new product from Maybelline. Drugstore stuff is starting to trickle in. New stuff is coming. I'm very excited. It makes my soul happy. So today we are going to be testing out the Maybelline Brow Extensions Fiber Pomade Crayon. So I picked up the shade 255 Soft Brown. They did have a good variety of colors. I think they have about five or six shades. This is the second lightest one, 255 Soft Brown. This is supposed to make your brows naturally thick uh, and it has hair-like fibers in the pomade. So we're gonna try that out. That's gonna be the video. So if you're interested in this product, please keep watching. Number one, use short upward strokes along brow. Build to filled pro tip for a blended look brush through brow with a spoolie. It also has a warning on here saying never apply this product in a moving vehicle. The fact that they have to write this on the packaging, the world is gone to sh Okay, so first impressions right off the bat. Um, the pencil is a bit thick, so if you don't have a full eyebrow, like for instance, I think it would be very easy in this area for myself, but my tails are very thin. I honestly just can't grow hair, I don't know, at the very ends of my brow. I've tried, I don't pluck it, and just honestly I don't have any hairs. So this could be a little bit challenging for me, I'm gonna try it. I also wish that there was a spoolie, just because as a pro tip it says brush through with a spoolie. So if you're not like a makeup person that doesn't have a lot of products, maybe you're just buying this to put in your bag, I almost feel like now you need to put a spoolie in your bag as well. That's the only kind of, mm. So I'm going to brush my brows first. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. So this is what 255 looks like on the back of my hand. It's nice, it has more of like, I would say it's on the ashier side. It does have a slight bit of warmth to it, but no red kind of orange vibe, so that's good. And it's very, very waxy. It's like a wax pomade almost in a pencil form, so. I don't know, let's keep going. I'm doing the stroke-like motion they're telling me to do on the package. You said I was the only okay, okay, we're gonna brush through at this point because it's looking a little bit messy. So it's definitely the same texture as a pomade. It's very, very thick and it's keeping my eyebrows in place. So that's cool. This mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. So, like they said on the back of the packaging, pro tip brush through. Uh, no, just a tip in general. You need a spoolie to brush this through because you cannot go outside looking like this. You need you need to brush brush through. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little Benefit brow brush, and what I'm going to do is just because I don't have that thickness, and I try to apply it, but it's not. It's okay, so what I'm gonna do, I need a little bit more precision in this area. Oh, you know what's really cool? Check this out. I just, I hope the camera can pick this up. See those little things? They're fibers. That's not my brow hair falling out on the pencil. That's actually little fibers like they said on the ends of the brush. So it actually does apply fibers to the hairs of the brows, which is kind of cool. You know what? I kind of like this. It really, like look at, like, do you see what just happened? I had no eyebrow hairs on my tails and now I actually look like I have feathered eyebrow hairs, which I never look like I have. I, I really thought this was gonna be a disaster and I really think this is amazing. Okay, so let, let's, let's compare. So here's one side with the pencil and it actually really does keep your brows in place. And then we have this side right here, which is a disaster, as you can tell. Like, look at, look at my tails here. So, so even when I try to put a little bit of eyebrow gel over here, I brush my eyebrows up, I never get hair-like looking strokes. It just looks like I have a pencil in there and I kind of just brush it out. Over here, it looks like hair. Um, I really kind of wish I had a little bit more hair on this side because I think if you had a fuller eyebrow, this stuff, you will absolutely love, like love. So you can just build on it. So I have a little bit of sparseness. Now, and if you have too much sparseness, um, you can just go in with an eyebrow pencil. Like I might even go in with a pomade and draw a couple little strokes to finish off the brow, just to kind of make it look 
very seamless, but this is just making my eyebrows look really full and it's making them stay in place, which is another great thing about it. Okay, so we're going to do this side now. I do think this color is a little bit dark, but it does match my natural root of the hair, which is fine. But I do think if I went with the lighter one, it would be too light. So I'm probably almost like an in between the two. Okay, so let's start by applying this. It legit just took this eyebrow from having no hair to hair and it almost looks like I have that brow kind of lamination thing happening which I was thinking about doing but then I thought I don't have enough hairs to kind of lift my brow and it'll look ridiculous but I kind of like the way this looks okay if you're kind of like me and have a little bit more sparseness throughout the tail I kind of like it to be honest with you I think I would just leave it like that but if you wanted to you could take some brown powder I actually think the texture of this pomade is great for a brow powder because it will, the powder will stick to the brow because that pomade has a little bit more tackiness to it. So if I go in with a little bit of this Benefit brow powder, just in these sparser areas, you can just fill in your brow really easily, giving it that hair-like look. You still have the strokes, just not as many gaps. Okay, I am like beyond impressed. Can we just see? I have eyebrow tails and it looks actually natural. It looks real. Okay, so basically, I've tried a lot of brow products, drugstore, high end. I actually think this is amazing. To be honest with you, I didn't even think I would like this just because, you know what, let, let's just talk about it. It's a thicker pencil. I thought, okay, how, you're, how are you going to get precision in your eyebrow? Um, is it going to be messy? Is it really going to do anything for me? This is on, it's honestly unbelievable. I have no brow hairs on my tail. And ha like, look at that tail. Where did that come from? I don't even know. It makes your brows just look like they're laminated. It does not feel like crunchy and weird. It feels very pliable. I think the color is fine. I probably could go somewhere in between the lighter shade and this shade, but there is no in-between color. Um, it does have these little fibers, which clearly do something to your eyebrow. And it's very easy to use. If you have a full eyebrow, that, uh, that bushy, beautiful eyebrow, you will absolutely love this because for you, all you're gonna have to do is legit do this a few times and brush the product through and you're gonna have definition, plus it's gonna hold them up. If you're like me, maybe a little bit more full in the front and then um, sparse on the tails, use a little brush on the tails, build the color on it and keep brushing through and you get magical tails of an eyebrow. So I don't know. This to me is like magic in a little pomade tube and I think it's unbelievable. So Maybelline, you've done it. You've created the real brow extension. This is real. No longer for your eyelashes, now for your eyebrows. Okay, so this will be the end of my review. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos and until next time, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.